Ellie here from Imagine It, boiling some water. It is negative 14 degrees Fahrenheit outside. And I'm curious what happens when I throw boiling water up into the air when it's this cold out. We'll have to see. Water can be in three different stages of matter, solid, like snow or ice, liquid, like the water you drink in a cup, or gas, like a cloud. Water, of course, can move between these stages of matter. Solid to gas is called sublimation, gas to solid is deposition, gas to liquid is condensation, liquid to gas is evaporation, liquid to solid is freezing, and solid to liquid is melting. All of these phase changes need an energy exchange to happen. Think about how steam doesn't stop, start rising off a pot of pasta water until enough heat has been added to the water by the stove. During our experiment, we saw evaporation happening occurring really quickly. When I threw the boiling water up into the air, it quickly changed from a liquid to a gas, in this case, water vapor. You may have noticed small streams of water falling out of the cloud. You know how it can be humid and muggy in the summer when it's really hot out? Extremely cold air is the opposite. It's bad at holding moisture. The negative 14 degree Fahrenheit air outside causes the water vapor to condense out, essentially forming, forming a tiny rainstorm in my front yard. If it was even colder, like 40 or 50 degrees Fahrenheit below zero, that rain would freeze before it hit the ground, turning snow, turning it into snow. Whoa! Before you try this yourself, there are a couple safety considerations. Never do this experiment if it's windy. And kids, get an adult assistant to help you with this experiment. Have fun, Flathead, and stay cozy.